Yeah, we, we learned we've got a group of guys that uh, they're really together. Um, when we're very uh, stubborn offensively uh, to make sure we get the right opportunities that we can probably be a little more efficient offensively maybe than um, what, what we may have thought. Um, I'd say standout is definitely unity. Definitely our guys play hard, play for each other. And then we've got to be very intentional offensively uh, what we can do uh, to be successful. Um, you know, I think that's the primary things that we learned. Yeah, great for Taming to be able to play, you know, the minutes he did against that level of competition uh, for three games in four days. And for him to handle the pressure the way he did, uh, to make plays for his teammates, uh, to get to the basket, especially that last game, and be able to make some plays off the dribble, off the high ball screen. Um, you know, Taman's, uh you know, he's got a really good court demeanor, really great maturity for a freshman. Uh, that was a, a big test for him, and, and, and he answered the bell. And, uh, we've got a lot of confidence in him, and he'll he'll continue to improve. You know, getting those type of minutes. I would say, like, you know, we showed against Villanova teams that are switching that we can be stubborn and go inside. Uh, that's going to be important for us. Uh, Rob's been terrific. Uh, he's done a great job of demanding the ball in there and been efficient for us. Uh, Oshun did a great job. Uh, as well. And so overall, it's balancing our offense out, knowing that against switching teams, which we will see a lot moving forward, that we can also attack them in the paint, that we don't have to be so predicated on just the jump shot and making enough perimeter shots to win that we can go into the paint and think we can even continue to be more stubborn so we can get to the foul line at a higher rate. That would that would benefit our offense as well. But uh, feel like we show we can be efficient in some different ways offensively. Yeah, it certainly can. I mean, we're, you know, we're, you'd love to win every game. You know, I mean, that's obviously you're competitive. You want to win every game. But you also realize the tournament that we just played in had 16 phenomenal teams. And, and we played three three teams and three programs that are, you know, in the top every year in the country. So I'd say to be able to beat a program like Villanova, like North Carolina, our guys should have a lot of confidence. I mean, um, you know, to beat those type of programs, especially when we have eight new guys and, and we're just coming together and we're figuring things out. So, um, you know, I think for young people, a lot of time, a lot of time, especially early in the year, those successes create that higher degree of buy-in or that belief in that all the hard work they're doing. And, and hopefully that's what happened, you know, for our guys by the experience we just had. Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, our, our brand of basketball is is about toughness. It's about physicality. It's about effort. It's taking charges. It's creating turnovers. It's it's rebounding. It, it's doing all the things that are effort-based that are hard to do and easy to say. And we have to stay the course with it. We can't waver. There's not another formula um, for our group or, where we can have the success that we can within this one. So we have to stay committed to it. Uh, and that involves every single day doing the work. It involves every morning getting up and doing it again and again and again and the cumulative effect of that, which which can be challenging, but it's one that we're going to be demanding of and, and that we're going to be stubborn to make sure we do. Yeah, well, Caleb's a extremely hard playing guy. I mean, takes a lot of pride in the effort that he gives at wanting to contribute to the team and give to the team. At times, you know, I feel like he can be really hard on himself. And, and mentally, you know, I think for some guys, when they're a bit of a perfectionist, you can hang on to a mistake and it can have a cumulative or a compounding effect, um, you know, during that game. And so, 
we're going to work diligently with Caleb to stay in the moment because you could tell that whole game on, on Friday against North Carolina, he was in the moment. Like there was – he had great poise. He was calm. His demeanor, uh, he never really – expressed any emotion he just stayed in that moment and um so it's our job to work you know collaborate on that and create recreate that as often uh as we can and just really proud of him for staying in that moment now he knows what that felt like and and the things he did to prepare for it now we need to replicate it Well, I think, you know, we played against three entirely different defensive schemes uh, when we were out there, and we've got to be stubborn to take advantage of what we can exploit with our opponent. And, you know, with, with Villanova, it was more of the switching and trying to go inside. With, um, you know, with North Carolina, it was more like the screening and the ball movement, trying to keep the ball on the move to find – you know, Caleb, who was the hot shooter against Connecticut, which we didn't do as good of a job. It was, you know, to play off the middle ball screen down the middle third of the floor because they're pressuring and stretching things out. So there's always going to be plans of attack to, you know, take advantage and exploit the defense. And we need to have a great commitment and stubbornness to doing what that job is. And then the shots will come from that. And Guys can't go into the game with a preconceived notion of what shots they're going to take or how many points they're going to get. We have to come in with a plan of attack and be stubborn uh, and stay the course with it and know that you know, we can have confidence on a given night. There's been multiple guys on our team now that have been in double figures or have led us in scoring. So we've just got to trust that whoever's night it is, that we're going to, we're going to play that advantage, play that attack plan, and stick with it. Yeah, I mean, I think overall it's um, our guys understanding that everybody's involved offensively, but how they're involved game to game could be different. One game it might be more screening and cutting. Another game it might be using those screens. We've got to look at the strengths of our group uh, and what we can do and, and what we can be great at. And, you know, as, as much as that from game to game, our defense, we're fortunate – you know, our defense stays the same. There's not a lot of variation from what we do. We believe in those habits. So there's a lot of other teams that are maybe more offensively inclined and come into every game, you know, re-strategizing their defense to try to neutralize an opponent. We believe best on best, our defense will stand up against anybody in the country. And that offensively, we've just got to know going into that game what those plans of attack are. So I don't think it's a whole lot different then what other teams are doing, we might just be doing it with our offense where they're looking to do it with their defense. Well, for us coming off that trip, you know, certainly getting back, you know, early Monday morning, uh, it is a quick turnaround to Wednesday. And at the same time, uh, that was a really productive trip. We learned a lot. Um, and, and we need to turn the page. We need to, to get on to what's next. We don't need to, you know, whatever that is, whether it's losing the last game or feeling good about winning the first two, whatever that was, we need to quickly get on to the next game. And, and we've got a team coming in here in North Dakota that's won three straight, and they're playing confident, and they're, they're a better team than they were earlier in the year. Uh, they move the ball. They shoot the ball well from the perimeter. So we've got to turn the page quick, and we've got to be ready to play tomorrow night. And that's we practice in such a way to, to be prepared for these opportunities, and that needs to show up for us tomorrow night. How would you get a sense of the Well, especially early in the year, you're always you're learning about your group, what you do well, where you can be successful. That's everything from scheme to lineups to mentality to flows of the game, runs in the game. What we try to do is be very intentional um, with everything that we learn and put it into play to, so that we put our team in the best position to win. 
So taking that information in, um, both individually and collectively, is something that every single day in practice we're using the things that work well for us and moving forward. And maybe there's some things that hadn't worked as well that we're deviating from and, and moving on to a new plan as we move forward. Yeah, you know, he's Gabe's, you know, tough, tough guy. And, um, you know, he's, he's really competed through it. I think with each day it's starting to get a little bit better. But, you know, to say he was anywhere near 100% out there would be embellishing. Like he, he wasn't feeling his best, but he competed through it. He did what we needed to do. Uh, proud of him for it. And hopefully as each day passes that he's got a little less pain and a little better mobility. Well, Jaron was able to do that because when things weren't going as well for us and for him, he was highly engaged in the game. He was engaged when he was on the bench. He was talkative in the huddles. He was, he was always in the moment. And so he didn't have to like crank it up or turn it up when the, you know, the biggest moments in the game called for it. He was locked in and he was dialed in and he was ready to, to drive the ball, to get in the paint, to make plays, to make shots. Uh, to get to the foul line and, and, and produce. So I think that's more of a testament to Jaron's character and how he works. I know that he doesn't take this opportunity for granted to come here and, and be a guy that, you know, he could make that next step with his game and his progress and his development. And so he, he cares about it. So he's ready when those moments present itself. None bigger than, you know, you're playing the number one team in the country and you're trying to come from behind late and he's making big plays. So hats off to him.